want? What you what you want? Spectre Studios. Play Spirit of the Game. Hey, what's in the box? What's in the box? Hey everybody, Benito Sensi here, Mother X-Wing unboxing, finishing off um, the current wave that's basically out for Star Wars X-Wing. Um, I have here the, uh, the tie, Inquisitor's tie. Uh, this is pretty cool because this is some of the um, ships that are coming out of Star Wars Rebels, the cartoon. So if you're uh, a big fan of that, this ship will seem familiar. I'm um, pretty excited about this. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. Let's see exactly what these guys will offer compared to, you know, like Dark Vader's TIE Advance that we saw out of Star Wars. see this little pop right in front of you. Um, so first off, this is probably one of the, one of the smaller ships as I kind of get it, feel it in my hand. Um, very, definitely very tight. A lot of detail for such a, for a very small ship, but definitely very small for Imperial class, but very cool nonetheless. Um, pretty standardized looking. Terminal panels inside are done very well with the stuff on the outer skirts. Simplistic, but cool. Definitely pretty neat with that. Take a look at its flight dials. It's uh, definitely very speedy. Um, going straight all the way up to five, but it's green all up to four. That's, um, that's pretty intense. Um, it can do basically every turning maneuver on the soft banks to three, hard banks to three, um, and it is uh, green on all turns of one for that. It, it can't go one forward though, so that's typical of the TIE Fighter range of that, of that sort, but two, three, four, five, they can do, as you can see. Um, so pretty cool with that. Um, and it K's at four only, so. Pretty universal overall, but you're gonna get a lot of that. And the only like again, the red is the K, so would be very standardized for a ship of that of that caliber. All right, let's see exactly stuff they bring to the forefront. So it's a shielded ship. So we got some more target locks. Some pretty basic things there. Nothing, nothing too overly exciting. Um, upgrade cards are the, just the modification and the boost. Which could be promising. So four ships, starting off with the top. Let's check out what we got here. So the TIE Advanced Prototype is a two attack, three agility, two shield, two hull. So, about a four hit point situation of that. It, it seems small, so the two hull make a little, does make a little sense to this. Um, so it has, but I guess a lot of the biggest would be the maneuverability of this. So you're having a focus icon, target icons, barrel and boost so really this ship can decide where it wants to go pretty immediately so let's start with uh, the inquisitor he's pilot level eight he's 25 points and he basically has the missile icon for the ship and the veteran ship so i think the missile will be the only thing this will basically equipped with so looking like very similar maybe to the a, a wing 
But the Inquisitor, he's unique. When attacking with your primary weapon at range 2 or 3, treat the range of that attack as range 1. So, yeah, he's going to be very popular. <laughs> um, that's a 3 attack solid for him all throughout constantly. And being probably one of the Imperial's most maneuverable ships. I can, I can definitely see the Inquisitor being very, very popular. All right, so we're going down uh, 3 points to 22. Two pilot skills dropping down to six. We bring up Valen Rudor. He still has the veteran icon for his um, for his thing, but his thing is after defending, you may perform a free action. Hmm. So could really be good with the like the focus aspect. But at six, I'm just trying to think. It really means. I mean, he's got some. He doesn't. He brings you the option with a barrel and the boost. He's gonna get a free action most likely in this. Could change it up. That's a, this is a. This is a very intriguing guy. Very intriguing. Because it almost like if he gets one from higher, like a higher guy, he could literally like retarget lock back or get his focus back after defending which would be kind of cool um against lower guys it looks like you'd probably be repositioning yourself maybe even getting out of a shot almost changing shots as you as people are picking on you um from there actually he could move around maybe every time he's defending so wow this guy could be he could be a little broken this could be the one of the most broken car uh, pilots unless he's FAQ that he can only do this once because otherwise I could see like three ships try to shoot him he could vir virtually be barrel rolling or boosting all over the place um, as an action interesting so those are two uh, unique pilots uh, we'll go down three more points to um, an ununique a Baron of the Empire So the Ursus Academy title of Baron was presented to Ace Starfire pilots for outstanding service to the Empire. So, so kind of like, you know, knight knighting uh, Imperial pilots and becoming, you know, assigned to the TIE Advanced Prototype. Pretty cool. Uh, still has also the Veteran. And the very basic who will lose the Veteran ship um, at 16 points, so the cheapest you can get this uh, thing at a pilot level 2 will be the Sunir Test Pilot. Uh, Sunir Fleet Systems TIE Advanced V1 was groundbreaking starfighter design featuring updated engines, a missile launcher, and folding as foils. So, pretty cool with that. Um, I don't see too many, I, don't, I can't see too many test pilots being used quite a bit. Definitely. Definitely the signature guys going to be big. Um, so we'll see some of this stuff here. Uh, probably some very simple things here that I'll, that I'll put out there. Um, Deadeye is one of the cards you get. You've seen this. This old homing missile is old. That's going to basically for the missile icon part of that. Um, so our first one we have here will be the uh, XX23S Thread Tracers. Okay. So this is a missile thing, so this is quite a little bit different. It's an attack three, range one, two, three. Attack, focus. Discard this card to perform this attack. If the attack hits, each friendly ship at range one or two of you may acquire target lock on the defender. Then cancel all dice results. Hmm. Wow. That really makes um, this could be interesting in your uh, small builds. Uh, not small build, but like swarm builds. Because uh, if you did this against academy, like an academy pilot swarm, you take a senior test pilot or even a baron. He tags a ship, then now all your X-wings basically get target lock. So you could really do some dub some damage to that aspect, depending, I, I, interesting wise. 
That's kind of a good syn. A syn this is definitely a, a good a synergy card to make one of the ships. Very cool. Uh, guided ships. I'll go over here, but this is also a card that is now uh, featured in one of the other um, wave eight ships. So uh, once per round, uh, it's a modification. Once per round, when attacking with either your uh, torpedoes or missiles, secondary weapons, you may change one die result to a hit result or a critical result if your primary weapon value is three or higher. It's no cost there, so pretty cool there. Uh, and then we got the TIE slash V1. It's the TIE advanced prototype only title, one point. After you acquire a target lock, you may perform a free evade action. Hmm. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, keep that pretty defensive. That's pretty, pretty interesting for one point if you want to get the uh, getting an evade on him. So pretty simple to that. All right, so what do I think of the TIE advance? Uh, it's definitely going to be an interesting um, card. I think the pilot, the higher level pilots add more definitely to the uh, capacity of what they can do. Um, you, know, you have the Inquisitor always basically shooting three for a very maneuverable ship. Villain Rudor could be, like I say, could be broken unless something FAQs or people are determining it differently than I am because as far as, as, far as I can see, he could basically continue to move around constantly without really in the combat phase, which would be kind of odd and different. Uh, not exactly how beneficial that would be overall, but I, you know, again, it's moving quite a bit more differently than a lot of other ships in the game prior to that. Uh, a lot of the upgrade cards, uh, pretty simple, straightforward. Um, the XS23S Thread Tracers. I would find it, I'd be interesting to hear your guys' comments um, on type of synergy to that. I, it's definitely a synergy card for a missile slot. Um, it's got to be on the right pilot though because it's got to be a little higher because you want the other cards to benefit from target lock. Or it's a preset, target lock stay on ships, so um, it's definitely one you can be setting up at a constant basis from that aspect there. So very interesting there in that, in that aspect. But it's an interesting ship, very cool, um, you know, very, very uh, delicate looking in aspect, but from the TV show, it's pretty cool. I like it. So, uh, yeah, that's about all I can pretty much uh, come up with it. So don't forget, if you want to see more of this, um, don't forget to subscribe to us on this YouTube channel here. Um, however, we do have an online community that reaches a lot of, of gaming of subjects to talk about. So if you want to talk about X-Wing, um, you can find us on specterstudios.us. That's our website. There's a, lot, a couple things on there you can check out, like pictures, uh, a lot of talk about TV shows and entertainment and stuff like that. Um, as well as a couple of links to cool blogs and stuff like that that we have. Uh, it also goes to our forum page, and that's basically where you'll find this um, thread to X-Wing. We'll definitely talk about all the new ships that are coming out for that, uh, talk about some of the campaigns things we do and battle reports that we kind of go over. Um, on our YouTube channel, you can discuss those things, or if you're into other games, and this is just a bridge to, the, to those aspects, you can definitely join us and talk to that. It doesn't cost anything. We love to build our community. We love to hear from you guys. Um, there's a few people from outside of you that have already started communicating us through either commenting on the um, the YouTube uh, videos themselves or you can join us on the forum and start chatting away with us there. Uh, thank you again and look for more unboxings. Vector Studios. Play for the spirit of the game.